view of a vintage modified Squire Strat, Squire Strat, Squire Jaguar. Uh, here it is right here, and I love it still, but one of the shortcomings, as I mentioned before, was the bridge. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you today, since I have a day off, I'm going to show you how easy it is to replace the bridge um, and give you a couple of options with that. Now, here is the original bridge. I've already done a quick change. Let me see if I can get this into focus. Come on, baby. Oh, for God's sakes, come on. There we go, nice. Okay, there's the original bridge, and you can see the grooves in it um, uh, there. And you can see just on the, uh, on the A string there, you can see where I've put in the Loctite. What you do, or what I did, was I adjusted the heights appropriately, and then I put in some um, uh, Loctite. Actually, my guitar tech did it even before I touched the guitar, so I'm not going to take credit for it. But uh, that's what you would do. It seems pretty straightforward. Uh, and then intonate it and so forth. And then forever after, you adjust the height uh, and the action by these posts on the side. You see there's these little posts that are on the side. Uh, there's the bass side, there's the treble side. Um, so that's how that works. Um, and it was okay. You know, it worked great. Um, once you put in the, uh, the strings, once they settled, it was fine. But for a day or two, it was really hard to keep it in tune. So what I did was I put in a, a, a new bridge. So here's the new bridge that I put in. Let's see if I can get this in focus. Come on. Works so well when I practice. There it is. Okay. And this is a bridge that I bought from uh, eBay or Amazon. I can't remember which. It was about 15 bucks. Okay. So it was by a company called Newer or Newer or something like that. And it worked. Uh, it was a total drop-in. Um, and uh, you can see the side, the saddles. Uh, are sort of old style Fender uh, or typical uh, Fender Strat or Tele style saddles where you adjust the heights by the screws on the side uh, using a hex key uh, or a hex wrench and you intonate it basically the same way. You can see on the sides there, there's the posts once you get the, the, the radius kind of dialed in. So that's what's there and for a few bucks more you can do this, you can put in this one. Now, this one definitely takes a little bit of time to get in focus. Come on. Oh, come on. There we go. Come on. Oh, this worked so well before. There we go. Look at that. Just took a little while. Okay, now you can see the difference. So this one does not have the posts on the individual saddles, so the, the heights are already set based on a, a proper radius. And then um, you adjust the posts. And so if you want the look of a Jaguar or look of a Mustang, this is more like a Mustang bridge. Now this one I got, you can get it for, you can get a, a genuine Fender one for about 30 bucks, 35 bucks on eBay. This one was a little bit more, or a little bit less. It's a TOG retrofit, um, but um, seems to, my guess is that it's going to work fine. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and actually just put it into the guitar and show you how easy that is to do, and then take you through a couple of steps to tune and intonate it. So here are the uh, tools that you need, or want. You need the new bridge, obviously. Now this bridge came with uh, the, the thimbles uh, for the posts, which I, I won't use because they're already still in there, and, uh, and a hex key um, to make the adjustments, whatever, that's pretty simple. Here's a really terrible uh, thing that I used to do my action. Uh, you probably have something way better, I'm just used to using this. Uh, a tuner to do the intonation when we get to it, a guitar chord. Uh, to plug into the tuner and do that directly. Of course, you need your guitar. All right, so um, that's it. So we're going to put in this guy uh, into the bridge. And uh, so let me get the camera shot set up, and we'll do it all. OK, gang, so one of the nice things about this is that you don't need any fancy tools. I'm just doing this on my literally on my kitchen table um, with a couple of towels down to protect the guitar just a bit. So one thing I did neglect to say is, 
a string winder. So that's going to be helpful. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to release a lot of tension on the string so I can pop this out and pop the new one in. Let's, let's just go ahead and do that. Now you could replace the strings, but these are fairly new strings, so I'm going to keep, go ahead and keep them. Okay, now it's really getting pretty loose there, but you need it extremely loose, so I'm going to just keep going. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically just lift this whole lot of the mechanism, and I'm not quite there yet. the bass strings really need to be loose because they're tougher to put on tension. There we go. Okay, so we're getting pretty close. Let's see if we can lift that right out. And I'm going to put it in with the same orientation. So I've got my intonation screws in the back. I'm going to leave that there. There we go. And just kind of pop that out and work it across. And that's it. And can see that these thimbles, these things right here, are already in there, so I don't need to put in new thimbles. I mean, uh, you know, I don't need to be that anal about keeping everything the same that way. All right, here's the new one. I'm just going to pop that in. Kind of work it through just like I did with the other. Got it more or less in line. Just pop that in. And that's it. That's it. New bridge in already. Now this one, very nice. We can just line up those screws. That's it. I just have to tighten it, tune it, and intonate it. So I'm going to spare you the time here, and I'm, just gonna, uh, uh, I'm just going to fast forward. I'm going to tighten it and tune it, and I'll show you how I intonate it. Well, we're back. Well, I've tuned the guitar and set the action, and uh, it couldn't really be much easier. It took me all of about, the tuning took way longer than the action. Um, basically, all you need to do to, to set the action on this, and it was pretty good just dropping it right in, but I wanted to fine-tune it. It was a little bit low on the bass side and a little bit high on the treble side. So I went to lower it on the treble side, I want to raise it on the bass. Super easy. You basically just take your hex key that came supplied and you stick it in the side. You don't have to mess with the saddles at all. And you turn it clockwise to tighten it, righty tighty, uh, to raise the action. And you turn it counterclockwise to uh, lower the action. And of course, if you forget about that, just keep your eyes really peeled on the spacing on the guitar and you'll see whether you're lowering it or raising it. And just keep measuring until you get it to where you want it. That's that. And, of course, you need to play to make sure it's buzz-free. But uh, this is pretty good. All right, so anyway, it couldn't be much easier. And just to show you the close-up on the old bridge, basically what you do is you're using just the sides. You're not these, these holes on the sides. You stick that all the way in, and as you turn it, the post either moves in or out. That's all that's happening. Okay. Um, all right, now let's intonate this. And I'm not going to do the whole thing. I'm just going to show you one string. And I'm going to do the rest on a better tuner because I have a pretty crummy tuner. Uh, one thing I did neglect to tell you that you're going to need is a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay. Now I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to use a jeweler's one, but this one would be fine. This just makes it a little bit easier to get under the strings. Um, so um, basically, how does that work? Well, intonation means that your guitar stays in tune all along the guitar neck. So what we're going to do is we're going to play an open note, and then we'll play the same note at the 12th fret, right? So an open E, 
and then a, the, a fretted note at the at the 12th and we want those both to be uh, in tune um, so we'll check them with the tuner um, now like I said I have kind of a crummy tuner too uh, so it's just gonna be pretty crude but this should give you the idea of how it all works uh, I've got it plugged into the tuner here and uh, let's just uh, show for uh, basically when um, when we have something that's sharp we're going to want to lengthen the string so we'll want to move the saddle back okay back toward the back end of the bridge when it's flat we'll want to move it back toward the the nut if you will to shorten the string a little bit and you do that just by by uh, shortening by moving these these set screws now I can tell you just from uh, from doing this on one that the old the uh, the thirteen dollar bridge <laughs> stinks at that. They don't set very well. But this uh, newer bridge, uh, which is a Tog retrofit, or you can I'm sure the genuine Fender part is going to do it as well. Very nicely intimates uh, with that. So let's try the the high E string. So if you if I do that, you can see I've got it I've got it tuned to pitch. And now when I play when I fret it, and it's going to be tricky because I've got to do it's flat okay so I, what I've got to do is I've got to move I've got to move uh, my saddle uh, this right here I've got to move it toward the neck all right so I'm going to you know I can't remember whether I loosen it or tighten it but I'm just going to check to see and see which way it goes I think I loosen it so uh, so let's go and do that let me just give it a little bit and you need to do this and test it and do it and test it make sure you're still in tune and so forth okay so I just moved it toward the neck a little bit now let's try it open see I popped it out of tune and that's kind of the problem with that and now let's see what it is at the 12th fret oops and this is boy this is tricky doing two hands but now you can see it's in tune at the 12th fret as well. So now I've intonated that E string, and I need to go and I need to do it for the B and the G. D, A, and the low E. And that's it, folks. I mean, really, uh, dropping it in, the hardest part is loosening up the strings and tightening it back up. Setting the action takes about a minute or two and then intonating takes a little bit longer but it's pretty straightforward and easy so you know I'd recommend doing it uh, this seems to be a much better bridge than the uh, than the newer than the thirteen dollar bridge and it's only like twenty five bucks so I would uh, if that's with shipping so I would advise doing that one uh, or the genuine fender for about thirty five bucks you can get that on Amazon I think I'm pretty sure you can get it on eBay too anyway good luck if you really want to do it right I guess you can get the Mastro bridge and spend a couple hundred bucks but for me $2.99 I spent on the guitar. Uh, it's a pretty good deal. All right, we'll see you on down the road.